This video explains how to rotate the xlab and ylab axis label titles in a base R plot. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you an example and this example is based on the two vector objects that we can create with the lines 2 and 3 of the code. So after running these two lines of code, our two new vector objects are appearing at the top right, which are called my x and my y. And as you can see, both of these vector objects contain a range of integers ranging from 1 to 5. Now, if we want to draw these data in a plot, we can use the plot function, as you can see in lines 5 and 6 of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new scatter plot is drawn, which shows our data points. And you can also see that the default axis labels are my x and my y. So these labels correspond to the names of our vector objects. Now let's assume that we want to rotate the y axis axis label title my y. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 8 to 14. So first we have to call the plot function once again, as you can see in lines 8 to 10. However, this time I'm specifying the ylab argument to be equal to an empty character string. So after running lines 8 to 10 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our y-axis title is disappearing. And then in the next step, we are using the mText function to specify this title once again at the left side of our plot. And we also specify at which position it should be shown. The last argument is specifying the rotation of our title. So in this case, we want to show our title horizontally aligned. And for that reason, we specify the last argument to be equal to one. So after running lines 11 to 14 of the code, you can see that our label is appearing again at the left side of the plot. And you can also see that it was rotated. However, we have one problem, which is that now the label is cut off because there's not enough space to show the entire label anymore. So if we want to change that, we can use the par function to specify the margins of our plot using the mar argument. And to the mar argument, we have to assign a vector containing four values and each of these values corresponds to the space around our plot of one side of the plot. And the second value, the value 7, corresponds to the left side of our plot. And 7 is larger than the default specifications. So for that reason, we are specifying a little bit more space on the left side of our plot. So after running 916 of the code, our options are updated. And we can see that by drawing our plot once again, as you can see in lines 18 to 24 of the code. So after running these lines of code, our plot is moved a little bit to the right side and you can see that the entire horizontally aligned axis title my y is shown. It's also possible to rotate the x-axis title as you can see in the next example starting in line 26 of the code. So we have already learned that we have to specify the power options before we want to rotate our labels and we do that in this case so that the x-axis space is a little bit increased. So for that reason, we specify the value 7 at the first position of the mar argument and the second position, which was a little bit increased in the previous example, is now set to 4.1, which is the default specification. So after running line 26 of the code, our options are updated. And you can see that after running lines 28 to 34 of the code, because this time we have increased the space at the bottom of the plot. And you can also see that we have rotated our x-axis title. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. 
Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.